Tabua, and 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 Bula FM, nombor dua dan seri. Good evening, this is FBC News. I'm Jackie Spade. Coming up, tropical cyclone alert now in place for the Lao Group. The National Disaster Management Office urges people to take heed of cyclone and areas affected by overnight rain and strong winds. It's just the first day of the year and two lives have been lost in what is believed to be cases of drowning. Police found a body of an unidentified person in Ovala waters early this morning. Police say the deceased was part of an eight-member group that was returning from a church service in Levuka to Motoriki. It is believed the boat they were traveling in capsized due to rough seas. Other details remain sketchy. Meanwhile, in another case, a three-year-old boy drowned in Navakuru River in Lambasa. His body was found at 3.30 p.m. today. A tropical cyclone alert is now in force for the Lao Group. Severe tropical cyclone Ula is expected to bring with her strong winds and heavy rain bands in the next 24 to 48 hours, with the projected path being at 115 kilometers east-southeast of Lakemba Island by 1 p.m. on Sunday. Malium Bolaitamana has more on the story. At 1 p.m. today, severe tropical cyclone Ula, a Category 3 midget system, was located some 330 kilometers southeast of Apia with winds up to 65 kilometers per hour at the center. TC Ula is expected to maintain her track west-southwest at 18 kilometers per hour and will lie over the Lao Group at 1 p.m. on Sunday. A tropical cyclone alert is now in force for the Lao Group. At 1 p.m. today, severe tropical cyclone Ula was located 16.8 degrees south 170.3 degrees west or about 330 kilometers southeast of Apia and moving towards west southwest. The weather office has also issued a strong wind warning for eastern Vitilevu, Vanuelevu, Taviuni and nearby small islands Lau and the Lome Viti group. Strong clockwise winds with average speeds of 45 knots, sorry 45 kilometers per hour gusting to 65 kilometers per hour. Rough to very rough seas. Elsewhere, moderate to fresh clockwise winds. Gusty at times. Flood warnings and alerts has also been issued for low-lying areas in Vitilevu and the weatherman is calling on members of the public to take heed of the warnings and prepare for the heavy rain bands. A flood alert is now in force for areas adjacent to Reki Reki town and areas downstream of Reki Reki and another flood alert is in force for areas adjacent to Navalau station and areas downstream. The weathermen take two. The weather office has called on mariners to refrain from taking to the seas and those in maritime regions to prepare well and to keep a close tab on aired weather reports. Madhiyum Boleitamana, FBC News. The National Disaster Management Office is urging the people to take heed of the warnings and prepare themselves for tropical cyclone Ula that is likely to affect Fiji by early Sunday morning. National Disaster Management Office Director Akapusi Tuifangalele issued the warning during a media briefing this afternoon. Barzana Nisha has more. The National Disaster Management Office has activated one evacuation centre at Kalambu Secondary School while other centres are on standby as the heavy rain warning for many centres remain in force. We rely a lot on you in terms of how we update the public and the, uh, the activation of uh, all the emergency operation centres will continue uh, during this weekend. As we anticipate uh, ULA, uh, TC ULA to actually um, 
uh, have a landfall uh, with us here in Fiji, sometimes in mid uh, tomorrow night, uh, Saturday night, and also on uh, uh, Sunday morning. National Disaster Management Office Director Akapusi Tui Fangalele says they are keeping an eye on the situation and people need to prepare themselves for the worst. During uh, this kind of, uh, this type of situation, they should now have done their stock up. Uh, they should have already trimmed their trees, they should have already cleared their, uh, their drains eh? and also on their rooftops. These are normal awareness uh, messages that we give up to the public. Areas that are flooded include Wainikoro Crossing in Nairukuruku, Waila Crossing in Nambaitavu, Wendina Crossing in Wainiwanga, Watwanga Crossing in Suva, Makolei Bridge in Nambuwalu, and Crossing at Bua has been washed out. The power lines are broken in Vatua, Naila Village, Domain. Also, there are fallen trees in Nongani, Princess Road, and Domain. Police and military have been alerted on the situation too. Razana Nisha, FBC News. Residents of Vudi South Road in Alsoria are hoping they have seen the last of the heavy rainfall currently experienced in the country. The heavy downpour has brought a sour New Year celebration to many of them. Ali Kimbia with the details. This was the scene at Budi South Road in Nausuri when FBC News visited the area at midday today. The heavy downpour has raised concerns amongst residents on what is in store throughout the weekend. They are thing all level. See my house there, the green one, thing flood there. Again, flood. As rising flood waters continues, some residents are already sorting out safety measures for family members. 17-year-old Tara Bear is hoping that flood waters recede. At first when we saw the, uh, the weather, we thought it will be decreasing, but uh, we didn't have any warning. So we just, uh, we just hope the, the flood decreases by night. For Pena Iyer, Wakabuli Mbao, preparation and taking precautionary measures is vital for low-lying areas. Uh, last night, actually, I didn't go to church because of the heavy rain here in uh, Nusuri. And uh, this morning, I'm, uh, when I woke up, i getting prepared, putting the shutters and uh, fill up all the buckets and the container for preparation for the cycle. Residents living along this road are in fear that if heavy rain continues tonight, some of their properties will be underwater. Ali Kimbia, FBC News. The adverse weather conditions also affected the residents of Lamy. It did dampen the New Year celebrations for many as the weather took its toll. Rohit Deo files this report. Strong winds and heavy rain affected most parts of the country, and Lamy was amongst those not spared. The residents of the Samoan settlement in Walekutu were the most affected, with waters raising up to three feet last night. The river running beside the settlement was the cause of the flooding, as the Moore family had to evacuate their home several times last night. It uh, affected us really badly sometimes. Sometimes uh, the water would reach right up the level of the post. It would reach right up and would sometimes move to higher grounds. And then, uh, yeah, and sometimes the water comes right up. So, yeah, it would really affect us really badly. Their New Year's Day plans were shattered. We actually went to the shoot party and then we came home. It was actually flooded right up to the top. So it was like a blessing or something. <laughs> the crossing at Gawaya village was partially flooded, with the school kids taking full advantage, with residents opting to stay indoors. Lamy Town was busy as usual, but vendors complained as rain did affect their sales. The first day of this year, I'm selling even though the wet condition here in the central division it didn't stop the people coming down. It affected, uh, it affected our sales, but when, when the weather changes, it's good. This rainy weather really affect the sale of the day. It wasn't that bad, then it started raining heavily with strong winds. We were stuck here but then the weather cleared and it's been well since then. The Lamy to Suva corridor was filled with debris as fallen trees and broken lines were a usual sight. 
The weather did clear a bit after midday, but the residents for sure will not be taking any chances until and unless the danger is fully over. Ruhit Deo, FBC News. Residents in Lombasa are cleaning up after strong winds and heavy rain uprooted trees, ripped off roofs and damaged the electricity post last night. The rain has eased in the northern division. However, the residents are not taking the situation lightly. Shireen Lata reports. Heavy rain last night destroyed a lot of crops and livestock in Vunivau, Lambasa. Banana tree fell down and uh, the cassava, almost cassava pits, uprooted. And, uh, you know, 